This video is not for the sensitive hoes. The ones who can't take anyone else's opinions except for their owns. If you can't have a mature conversation, then darling, this video is not for you. You will be blocked immediately. Now remember to keep it cute, keep it mute, or get the boot. Now preparing to nanny port to Nina's raw view. In 3, A2, A1. I'm Nina, Bro Nina Brown, and you are now watching the Nina channel. <laughs> Yo, check it. Um, I'm up and in the club, and in and in, and uh, in, in, in we're on Nina's raw view. It's all of that. So what you gonna do? Check, check, check it, check it, check it, check. Oh, I, oh, 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 this is all that, all that. Boom, boom. Hey y'all, it's me Pierre, aka Nina, Bonina, Banana, Fana, Nickelodeon, all that brown, and we are back for our now new raw view episode three of All Stars Eight. Yes, y'all know how we do it here. Welcome back, piggies. You know, petty is great for the pigs. For those of y'all that can't keep it cute, keep it mute, or get the you'll get the boot. Like you can voice your opinions, state your opinions, have fun in the comment section, but keep it cute or you'll be blocked and chopped immediately. So yes, welcome back to all my piggies out there. I'm gonna just, I said, I said, I said I'll mention a little bit of it, but people keep coming to me about Nasha at a Roscoe's thing coming for James. Guys, I have nothing to do with that. Y'all know James is my sis, but he knows I said this like when I was going through my stuff, were any of them out loudly saying things to try to like have my back out loud, protect me now? <laughs> so I'm gonna let James fight that battle. That's his battle, not mine. I have nothing to do with that. Nothing. I mean, none of y'all should be surprised. We know how it goes down in Roscoe's. Okay. Oh, and y'all can catch me and Mystique on Drag Me to Dinner. Something tells me she's gonna eat all the dinner. And something tells me they're gonna have us making biscuits and chicken. I think she likes that part. <laughs> It's a comment. Somebody said, did anyone notice that the first bottom two is from this season? It's from this season is season five, Serena Cha Cha, Monica Beverly Hill, and season six, Rue Girls, Trinity K. Bonet, and Darian Lake. Again, like an all-star six. Thought maybe some of y'all find that interesting. I'm a little lost, but. <laughs> After several years, Nation Lopez still doing her raccoon eyes with the man brows. She hasn't learned a thing. Thank you for this, Nina. Nina, get out of your head. You have a big fan base and they showed you live in East Coast in New York City. Now it's time for the LA girls to see and meet you. You're going to do great. Okay. Yes, this sounds like a positive message, right? But I, I wanted to read it because I'm tired of people always like, in a way, placing a blame on the person who's, you know, not comfortable doing things. Like, I get it. But I'm not feeling those ways just for my health, as if like for no reason. I'm just like, oh, I don't feel comfortable going to LA or stuff. These things have happened, which plenty of my fans know, which makes me uncomfortable of, of not wanting to go to certain areas or feeling, you know, or feeling like I shouldn't go to certain areas. Like, yeah, I may do great. And just like I was scared to go to New York or I wasn't scared to go, but I, was, I just haven't performed in a while. And it ended up being a great time, a great show. But yeah, it's not like me just out of my health just being like, oh, like, woe is me. Like, no, things happen to people that make them get into a certain headspace at times. And yes, sometimes you can put yourself in a headspace. I need the girls to start lip syncing like Kahana did in this lip sync. Match the vibe of the song without needing to pull out any flips, dips, or tricks. Just her mouth, face, and rhythm. That's how I feel too. I like. I still think Kahana could have won that lip sync um, with against Aja because I feel like she was trying to do more of like 
the song and like not trying to be like, let me just Vogue or something for no reason. My only question is why would they cast Aja as a lip sync assassin when she only won one, one out of three lip syncs she did during her time on the show? Just wondering. <laughs> that is shady. But I get what you're saying. So that's the thing is like, I, I think about people outside of the show and I know that Aja is a good performer. You know, she is. But then that's the thing. Like, the people that watch Drag Race, they go off of, like, the show. And so, like, even if somebody really doesn't kill it, but they just happen to beat the lip sync and maybe beat somebody else, then that, like, in their eyes, makes them a lip sync assassin. And it's like, I look past that. I'm like, what do they do outside of that? You just happen to maybe beat a girl on Drag Race during a lip sync maybe earning it or maybe the producers pushing you to win who knows but i look at what's done outside of it there's this dealing with the thing with the little mermaid and i said what was like you know the like the latino mexican community that was kind of you know mostly being racist towards it somebody says pierre there's a deep rooted colorism within the latino community community please do a video on it if you look up videos are mexicans white you can find some videos of a brown mexican man going around asking other brown mexicans latinos what their race is the majority straight up say they're white. While there are some white Latinos, most are brown or black with Armadinian or African um, ancestry. And this coming from a Mexican born in 93 who grew up with Disney movies. I just feel sad when I think about it. There's nothing wrong with a different race area. The colorism right wing politics within our community has led people like the Allen Texas shooter, a Mexican with neo-Nazi tattoos. Those white people don't even accept you. They are trying to come up with any conspiracy as to why this Mexican-American man had Nazi tattoos. You're not white, Hermana. Oh. <laughs> okay, this is like when I was like making a joke, really. When I posted that clip of Sony calling um, Delta, thank you, um, calling her, you know, uh, a Ranny. <laughs> and then I was like, but y'all not mad at Sony saying that? Mm-hmm. Somebody was like, okay, Nina, you know people don't like using the T the T slur because you're not trans girl but we not but we're not but we are not canceling Sony to a trans woman for using that word it's on you though or something and then some, and then also so that was said and then somebody also tried to compare um Ranny to the N word you know cuz I was like cuz like when I say when I was saying like tranny port me that literally comes from RuPaul's drag race those of y'all that know the episode with um, season two with Phoenix and them in space. And even RuPaul has a song called Tranny Chasers. <laughs> you know, and so like me saying it in that kind of way is like a joking way. Like not like to try and demean somebody and like you are a granny like that. You know, I'm just repeating what they say on that show, on the episode. So they were like, well, how would you like it if somebody said preparing to Naiga port to raw view. How are you comparing that word to that word? Like, I know you're trying to prove your point, but you just sound stupid. I'm sorry. Like, <laughs> no, that's not the same thing. And plus, like I said, y'all like to pick and choose y'all's battles. Y'all like to pick and choose who to cancel, not to cancel. Because if y'all act like that word, Ranny, is so bad and so disgusting, it wouldn't matter whether it came from a trans girl or not. You wouldn't want to hear it, period. And if I am a part of this LGBTQ 1 plus 3, 7, 8, 7, 8, 7, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, community, that word is a part of our community. It secretly is. And that's how the T-girls talk to each other all the time. That's just like, I don't personally try my, I try my best not to use the N-word that much. I really, because like, I don't even like when we use the N-word. Because I feel like it's a slap in the face to, you know, our ancestors who were slaves and were fighting against that. And now we, I know we took the word back and made it powerful, but I still think it's kind of ignorant, but we do. I don't know. I, once again, I think y'all just pick and choose. Oh, um, um, this is, <laughs> did y'all see that thing with James, you know, King Tyra? He said, I don't watch this show anymore, but a little bird told me that Ho, Nasha Lopez, was eliminated for a third time. Failure. Karma. Always riding my D, worried about if I should be allowed to compete in a show I want nothing to do with. And here you are, a loser for the third time. <laughs> Girl, I'm just glad I'm just glad he's not mad at me. <laughs> it's secretly I'm like, you know he kinda watched that show still. 
Oh, does Monica B know that saying fish three times is how you summon Victoria Scone from the mirror? <laughs> that would be scary, for real. <laughs> she just comes out the mirror with a fish hook, but being offended by fish. <laughs> fish. 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 <laughs> oh, shite. Did somebody say fish and chips? Fish! This was a nice comment, but she was <laughs> Please come to London. You can stay with me and my husband. We've got a male and a female cat who have just had their first litter of kittens, too. So it's like a tiger's den here at our flat. We have a tiny home, but if you're ever in England and need a place to stay, our home is yours. I'm like, thank you, but I'm scared I'm going to wake up to two decently shaped white people wearing leather and, and dog masks and them rubbing on me and it scares me and uh, is the whole place going to smell like kitty litter like oh <laughs> but the th but the thought is nice <laughs> this comment was so dumb to me I don't <laughs> he said I do not like Nisha at all her neck shape funny to me <laughs> that is such a black person comment <laughs> not her neck shape funny but <laughs> what Somebody said, all drag race needs is to take a break for a year. We're talking about like, you know, um, just be, being a little tired of it, um, a little fatigued. I think it needs a year too. I really do. Like I know that we don't have to watch, but we're gonna tr watch it anyway. But I feel like if it did take a break for a year, it may be hard for us, but I think it kind of would refresh it because we'll really miss it. Those are all the comments. Thank God. Thank you. Now, you know, I used to not read the tips that were, you know, just a dollar. But, <laughs> but thank you, Joe Queenie, because you know money is money, honey. Thank you, Mike Valdez. He says, come to L.A. for, for coming to L.A. Oh, I am going to be in L.A. Lord knows it's people in my live video. Child, most of y'all get my humor. Y'all get my dry humor. I kept being like, I'm not coming to L.A., you know, and people were like, really? Like, no, for real, for real? And so I, so I just kind of kept ignoring them. And then like the next day they came back saying the same thing. You come, are you not going to LA? I'm like, girl. And like literally my fans were there saying like, he, he's just kidding. Like he's going to go. And then like, they got, I guess they got in there. Like, you know how people do. I did love you, but all this, da, 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 I'm not, I'm like, girl, bye. Two seconds ago, you loved me. You were excited to see me in LA. And because I don't answer your question when you want me to, you don't love me no more. I don't like those kind of fans. So when I come to LA, don't come. Um. <laughs> so just a little more on what the show's gonna be like. It says, please join us as a contestant or as a spectator for the City of West Hollywood Harvey Milk Day celebration on May 22nd, featuring the Jose Serrera drag pageant. Jose Serrera was the first openly gay person to run for office in the U.S. as a well-known drag performer who helped pave the way for Harvey Milk's successful run for office. The competition is hosted by Maybe a Girl, that's a cute name, who became the first drag queen elected to public office in the U.S. in 2019. Judges include the mayor of West Hollywood, Kiki Estravaganza, Mother Ebony Lane, and Queen Mother Karina Samala, and Emperor Eugene May Sky of the Imperial Court, and international charitable organization founded by Serrera. The drag competition is open to all, and the top 10 finalists will receive a cash prize of between $50 and $250. There are three rounds, formal wear, question, and answer, and talent. And if you're interested in entering the pageant, you must apply by May 21st at WeHopePride.com Arts Festival. In addition to the drag pageant, there will be a voter registration table, a Harvey Milk um, opportun photo opportunity, a custom typewriter poetry provided by City Arts Grant Pride Poets. The event runs from 6 p.m. to 8.30 p.m., Attending the event is free. However, RSVP is required. Free validated parking will be provided in the five-story public park parking structure. This event is the kickoff of the WeHo Pride Arts Festival running from May 22nd to June 30th and organized by the City of West Hollywood's Arts Division. Learn more and submit your pageant entry at wehopride.com at wehopride.com, little hyphen thing, Arts Festival. So, yeah. Thank you... Mike Valdez. Thank you, Latrina Godfrey. Thank you, Kane, for the good luck on my show. I hope it goes well. 
Thank you, uh huh, Adri thank you, Adriel. I'm glad you sent that tip from your heart. And not because I have bags for it. Thank you, Align. Thank you, Richard Matchman. Thank you, Eliza Marth. Thank you, Justin Singer, as always. Thank you, Robert Camacho. If you say E one more time, look like what, what did I start? E Mario. You know what? <laughs> Thank you, Michael Curtis. Thank you, Michael Hicks. <laughs> Now, I didn't get this from prostituting. I'm dumb enough to get my bussy away for free. <laughs> thank you, Anita. Oh, oh, some gas money. Thank you. Thank you, Carlos Alva. He's back. Thank you, Jamie Chabiz. Thank you, Alex Henrique. Henrique. Thank you, Sarah Allen. Thank you, Michael Mentor. I said his name happy. That's the last time you'll ever hear that. Thank you, James Keen. Thank you, Ryan Story. And thank you, Tamara Fedosiva. Thank you for y'all's tips. I'm always saying the same names, though. I need some of y'all new people to be tipping, too, though. Uh-huh. I am going to L.A. Drop y'all some money so I can have money to go out, honey. Trust. All the information is in the description box down below. So let's get to the show, ho. Somebody just reminded, did you see Heidi's fleshlights? Have y'all seen these? I mean, I think it's a clever thing, because I remember people wanted me to do, like, um... A peach like jock strap or something, or a peach like flavored something like something sexual. <laughs> I probably would have done it. I wouldn't buy it, but you know. Oh, there we go. There we go. There we go. Thank God she's pretty. I tell you what. Oh, <laughs> well, somebody could have laughed. Well, as a Puerto Rican, I can have her lipstick. Ew. No. Okay, so I saw this, you know, the first 10 minutes whatever or so, and people were having a debate in the comment section. So I'm like, let's have one here, a nice, friendly debate. Some people, some, somebody was thinking that that was kind of racist of her, and some people were like, no, it's not. It'll be racist if it feels the other way around. I personally don't like if somebody just chooses somebody because of their skin color. I get it. You want to protect your, you know, Puerto Rican sister. But I wouldn't just choose somebody because they're black. I wouldn't. Like, you still would have to do good or do decent or something for me to be like, oh, I want to choose you. But, like, just not just because you're black. Like, because that's what people think you should do. But it's like, I don't know. I get it. So I, I'm kind of, like, on defense. Like, But what do y'all think? I'm going to vote the way I want. I don't need anybody to tell me how to vote. I mean, true, though. Like... It's my vote. That it doesn't matter what y'all say. If you picked me, it's no bad blood. Yeah, yeah, of course. They all say that, but like, you know, it's secretly a little bad blood. Cause I mean, yeah, you might get over it, but it's still like, mm-hmm. I see you, queen. Uh, the best I can play would be Uno. But at the same time- Somebody said, during Roscoe's, it's, it's F this show. I never cared her, but in Untucked, she's crying, fighting for her life. I can't. <laughs> I know she has two different sides to her. Uh, um. It's a whole new day in the work for me and the girls up there. Yo, what's that? Why this part so long? <laughs> yeah, they're trying to script the show along. Oh, James, I knew she was a freak. Nakahana sl slightly balding. <laughs> show of hands, how many of you have been in a swing? And I'm not talking about the park. Oh, oh Lord, they go all us being a freak again. Every season she's a freak. Mm -hmm. I ain't done that yet. Ew, not James in a sling. Ew. I see him slinging back and forth. Yippee! Oh. Yippee! Oh. <laughs> hey guys, it's me, James Mansfield, coming live from a sling. <laughs> I don't want to picture her like that. Ew. What are y'all be doing over there in Puppet Mansion? Girl. Are you pushing the swing? <laughs> and not. Ugh. Not Heidi. Topping somebody in a sling going, yay, I can't. Throwing a ball. I secretly this time don't like what RuPaul has on. Supermarket supermodel. <laughs> so they're having a ball, which means three dang looks I gotta sit there. Oh Lord, I already have a headache. That girl done braided she done twisted my locks like an African with my scalp. Girl, I, I girl, I can't. They had on a supermarket ball. Three looks, one representing Deary. The other one representing fruit. And then... S 
um, a supermarket something where they got to create something on their own. So sewing. Using the items you'd find at the supermarket. They ain't kind of looking all serious. <laughs> oh my God, him on that bicycle just reminded me of that one guy on Twitter. Some of y'all who get on Twitter know what I'm talking about. And he had a big old bonky booty, but he probably got a, a loose hole, but he had a dildo on the bicycle seat and was riding it up and down. <laughs> I said, those white gays, they're very creative. That I'll tell them. <laughs> A look made out of unconventional soup. Not on using Jazz Master's loaf of bread. The only two balls I ever done were Mr. Davis's. <laughs> Talented. We get it. You're married, Kasha. We get it. God dang. Whittle our own pencil to write a note. Should I can secretly see Kasha, Kasha on Kent Wanakiki. <laughs> I think she would actually fit in on that show secretly for real. Stuff. Do you remember how fierce I look in those bathroom curtains? It was. No, darling. I wasn't born then. I'm a 2013 baby. Me. Take me now, <laughs> No, you really do feel so like overwhelmed if like, if you can't sew. It's like, what are all these materials? What do y'all want me to do? <laughs> I'm like, oh, he's making the balloons for his costume. Never mind. <laughs> it is time. Y'all, these graphics, I mean, and now mind you now, this is, of course, the graphics are always nice in the little, like, cutscene parts, right? We have to see gameplay. So I thought this was Kung Lao. Somebody said this is Young Raiden. They could be right. They could be right. But these graphics, though, can we just marvel in them? And I heard that this Mortal Kombat is for the, finally, for the new current gen System. So no PS4, no Xbox 360, like no. You girls, y'all are y'all are late. So I hope it really looks next gen or current gen. And peace. In my new era, the choice is yours. <laughs> I hate hearing the word era now because now I'm thinking about mistress and them. Girl, Mortal Kombat is in their new era. <laughs> Whether to live in quiet serenity. Okay, so it is two people. So maybe it is Kung Lao and Raiden. Okay, maybe it is. Okay. Okay. I, I'm thinking they have Katana. Her mask is gone. But I'm thinking they're going back a little bit to how she kind of used to look. And I'm happy about that. Because I, not that she was bad looking. I kind of liked how Katana had like that kind of Middle Eastern kind of look to her. And when they made her look just like korean or whatever i didn't like it that much like i know that sounds funny but I'm, i don't mean it in a funny way um i just liked her because that adenia kind of thing this could be the same design but she looks a little different to me she looks good and katana has to be beautiful she's known for her beauty all bitter rivalry ow <laughs> and i love how they have this thing um of like it seems like this is going to be like you can have a team or, or a, like another person to help you out. You can either go against them or be with them. That's really cool. Like this is awesome. You can face each other. They have to have Sub-Zero and Scorpion. I don't think they ever could do a Mortal Kombat without these two. I don't know if they could. Or united as brothers. Wait, really quick, somebody said Sub-Zero as AI, whatever that means. But it's funny, did I already delete that? Somebody messaged me and was like, <laughs> um, oh my God, you have to see this, Nina. I'm like, okay, and I'm reading it. And it's like, he's like, oh my God, like AI likes you on Snapchat. I'm like, what? And it was like AI having a conversation with somebody else and was like saying how much they like me, my makeup and stuff. And I'm like, I'm all confused, confused in black. Like, what is AI? Like, why should I care? <laughs> Apparently, it's a big thing. I don't. Maybe y'all can explain it to me better in the comment section because I'm confused. And soon you will discover. Liu Kang is so serious now. <laughs> like he's like a whole new person now. Like <laughs> he's not that young Liu Kang we used to know. 
Shang Tsung. Or is that evil Liu Kang? I think it's Shang Tsung. I'm surprised they didn't make Shang Tsung look like he did in the movie because I thought, I thought they had that skin for that. Oh, yes. There is always something worth fighting for. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> Whoever freaking edited this trailer, I'm going to bottom for them. And I haven't done that in a while. The smell may not be pleasant, but it's what they deserve. The way they... <laughs> I don't think I can show y'all all this gore. That's the weird thing about YouTube, right? So you see how they're showing this public forum. It has ads. It's not... And, and it's fine. But if I was to show this, it may be an issue for gore. And, and I wouldn't be able to, like, have ads. But wow. It seems like they're using a different, a different engine as well, too. And when are they using the Unreal Engine 5 for this game? Yes! <laughs> yeah. Kill my God. If the fatalities could look this cool for real, like the cutscene, that'd be amazing. amazing like i thought i was excited for the street fighter one but when i played the little like beta thing i wasn't that excited like watching all the previews before i was like this game looks amazing and then when i played the demo i wasn't that impressed but it was beta maybe it'll get better but when i tell you mortal kombat this is how this is how sickening they are Cause now mind you street fighter and stuff they've been talking about it for like what a year or two now this literally came out of nowhere. They dropped like a teaser, maybe like what, almost a month ago. And then out of nowhere, a whole trailer and a release date coming this year. <laughs> like there was speculation about it. But the fact that they like literally just came out of nowhere and have all this ready to go. That's how badass they are. <laughs> and I am freaking excited about this. Now, I feel like they keep starting over, it seems, with Mortal Kombat 1 in a way. And you know what's funny? When they said Mortal Kombat 1, I thought that they were going to, like, go back to how the original one looked, where they had, like, real people, you know, like, how it looked, like, very realistic. That would have been cool, too. But, like, does this mean that, like, we're getting rid of the children? Like, Cassie Cage, um, Jackie, Briggs, which she can go, because... She reminds me of Kaya with metal arms. Um, <laughs> she bores me. Um, like, what route are they going with this? What route are they going? You have to find out. Anyway, I thought I would throw this in this video because y'all know y'all don't watch things by themselves. I'm excited, y'all. You know, I would usually go to the supermarket, but always eating out. We Candy, you want us to believe that you've never been in a, in a grocery store? Mm -hmm. Really, really real. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I hate you, Tooth. I hate you with the passion of vinegar mixed with sauerkraut and the back end of Claire's vagina in the hollow wells in her ovaries. Oh, because she does look... <laughs> I know exactly what you're talking about. <laughs> Somebody's <laughs> Now Lala, I didn't say this. Somebody who is a wannabe dentist who just passed one of their tests. Yay. Anyway. They said that La La looks like this. <laughs> Do y'all remember the live action, the very first Mario movie? <laughs> the one that should have never been made. Oh, you know the one. Oh, I just can't. Why? That Mario movie was cursed. It was cursed, but it was. Oh my, what? I don't know how that was a movie. I don't know how that was a Mario movie. Oh my God. Oh, the girl, the girl, eh? Clearly. 
another girl saying the girl's a girl. And when will it stop? When will I get my royalties, my checks? I cannot. Everybody want to make sure they say it before I ever go on the show again. <laughs> Myself on season nine, there were some funny choices made that I don't feel fully. Yeah, but like that's the thing. Like it wasn't like the drag was that bad either. Like at the time, people were like, "Oh wow, you know, like yeah, like she had some moments, but like." I don't know. We like at those times, those t those looks were good. You know, but now it's like, oh, refurbish your body. Uh -huh. What are the yeah, definitely from the side profile. It looks like she got a slight a boob cup. <laughs> have to roll the sill. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Roll the sill. <laughs> you were in the bottom last week. Yeah. Then he got masked real quick. First he's like, uh huh, uh huh. I need you the crystal spirit thing. So you were in the bottom next week. Yeah. Yeah, bro. I was in the bottom. <laughs> I can't wait to see that yellow on your gorgeous brown skin. Yeah. She is not brown. I am brown. Okay, so buttery brown and tantalizing. You would have thought I needed help from this feeling that I felt so shook. I had to catch my breath. <laughs> Girl, Kahana's like a, like a honey bun, like a a chicken nugget golden color. Okay, I'm brown. Okay. Like Are you that. still in touch with her? Um, no. No. Like, short. Oh, fuck. No. God dang. He's like, got him, Emmy. It's gonna be gone. I would've went and saw her. Yeah. Well, you wouldn't know that. And I know that he was really close to his grandma, just like Shangela. Speaking of Shangela, y'all heard of those allegations, right, of her, you know, R A P E with somebody. I just find it interesting that nobody's really speaking about that. It's been very really quiet or hush hush. I just find it interesting, and I feel like if it if it was like some other queen that people didn't like or something like that, it'd be all over the internet everywhere. So somebody's doing a really good job at protecting her, <laughs> which is a good thing. I mean, I don't know, I don't know whether it's true or not. I don't know, but I just. It's like I barely, I, I vaguely hear about it. So I just found that interesting. Like, I can't, I can't picture that with Shangela. I really can't. Like, allegedly with somebody from the We're Here show. I don't know. And then Heidi came in looking like, um, Maya Angelou. Glue sticks. Oh my God. <laughs> These episodes are always like kind of boring. Like, like it's not super boring this one, but like just, I've always said this. Y'all enjoy seeing the girls sew and create, but these are boring episodes. It's just them like speaking and you know, and having a I'm trying to have moments. It's like okay, just get to the runway. <laughs> Instead of trying to look back here, <laughs> well, it look a ghost coming out of a um, chocolate M and M. Or so deeply, uh, not me, really. I but I forgot Darian was here. I swear this is the first time Darian has spoke this whole episode. I swear it is. It's her, it's her first her first time. Let me slide my ball fell out. Uh oh. You only got one. Girl, you couldn't tell me that I was fish. Okay, looking like a background singer for Zane. Hey, Mr. DJ, we can get it started. And it was time for beauty and looks with Nina Bonina Brown. <laughs> Oh, Nina's impact. Oh, the girls will never say. But I know they were inspired, honey. Everybody's a poodle now. The only difference is I built mines and I actually painted prosthetic. That's a mask. But anyway, and that has been Beauty and Looks with Nina Bonina Brown. I swear in that first lighting, I thought she had green hair. I'm like, wasn't a joker. Why? <laughs> Why? Why? But why? Oh. Especially after like the first episode, I'm like, yeah, never mind. I, I don't like this. Are you buying what I'm selling? I am buying. I wonder if JoJo's tired of dressing like that, or she like likes it, or she has to do it. <laughs> I am serving. But this is Jimbo's dairy look. I kind of like it. It's, it's it's cute. It's not a wow 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 wow, but it's cute. I'm going to rent this. On my face, balls on my hands, balls, balls. If somebody don't just come out dressed as milk, 
with doodle on her on her on, on the back of them and say, It's just feces. So cold. I don't know if y'all know this. Ow, yes, ma'am. Kahana is bringing it so far. Yes, ma'am. Ow, I'm buying this. Serving cute cow realness. Legs, body. The bow could probably have some prints too, though, but it's cute. Come on, Cookie Monster. Ooh, tits ahoy. <laughs> This is cute, but my favorite part is the thing around her arms with holding the cookies. That looks really cool. Like it's like a, it's very cool. It looks unrealistic at, at at some point. If it didn't have that, it would just be like okay. But because of that, I'm gonna rent this look. She not gonna cry over no spilled milk. I was noticing she. So far, I'm noticing Candy are wearing these kind of like cuts like she had the red thing on you know that kind of same kind of really coochie cut thing she seems to be doing that a lot this is okay i feel like jimbo's version is a little better um but uh it's okay like i not, not sure if i want to buy or rent this <laughs> you know what she got please stop doing that fake laugh <laughs> she eating the grass yes honey she is grass fed i don't like this <laughs> I don't like it. Like, it's, I think because, like, I'm just looking at it and it's just a, I don't know. Like, the head part is cool or something, but it, it I think it's just lacks something. Like, maybe it should have had a belt in the middle. Maybe it could have had a red belt in the middle. Maybe something interesting in the middle. Something is just, you know, it's, I don't know. It's something um, about it that I'm not really crazy over. Wait, is that Liza? See, from the back, I like it more, secretly. Muella DeVille. Oh. <laughs> Come on, cow shoulder. What in the witch hat? You know what? I feel like uh, I hate that hat. Is that a hat or are you just happy to see me? <laughs> um, I feel like some of these looks are, are giving me, like, maybe early days on Drag Race. Like, maybe earlier, it'll be like, wow. But it's like, you know, this is just... It's not bad. It's not. Like, I mean, I hate the hat. It's not bad, you know. But it's like okay, like we've seen those shoulders before and that kind of thing before, you know. But it's not bad. It's cute. It's the outfit is cute. Grace Jones served milk. <laughs> she used to be happy. This looks kind of cheap because the material so far Darian's not bringing it for me, and I want her to bring it. I do. I want her to bring it, but um. No. No. She might be a little fruity. I knew it. <laughs> Any bowl. I'm going to buy this. I like this. Like, and it's kind of like, I almost want to rent it more, but I want to buy this. Like, it, may, it makes me want some Fruit Loops. It really does. I'm going to buy this. She bought expired milk. <laughs> <laughs> she was working for... Like, how would I get milk from this? I, I don't get right <laughs> to what... Like, it, it was just a white dress and y'all just added a little arm piece thing, shoulder piece. I don't know, like... Yeah. He's like her and Darian kind of thing, like, I don't know. And dang, how many more girls? <laughs> Can we get to the second the second part, the, the second runway? <laughs> All deliveries in the rear, please. This is cute. I'm gonna rent this. I'm gonna rent it. It's cute. I wonder why! <laughs> so the dress is nice. But do I get fruity? Not really. I guess because of the colors. I think lately the girls have been kissing RuPaul's behind lately. I, I've noticed <laughs> with like certain runways and stuff. Um, it's, yeah, I mean like this is a nice dress. Like I, I'm only going to rent it though because I don't really get fruity. Yeah, the colors, but I'll rent it. Montrese. Or should I say banana Montrese? <laughs> My fruity... I'm at... It looks more like corn. I'm like, corn, not a fruit? <laughs> I really thought that was corn at first. <laughs> corn? It's cute. It is cute. It's cute. It's cute. I'm, I'm, I'm really going to rent this. One thing's for sure. What? She's got a feel. <laughs> you know what? I'm actually going to... I think I'm going to buy it. But I'm only going to buy it and then wear it once. And then that's it. Gives you lemons. Yes. Make a slutty outfit. Why not? Well, <laughs> I mean, it's cute. Like, it's cute, I guess. But I'm going to leave it on the rack. <laughs> Ooh, yeah. ch ch cherry bomb. I'm 
No shade, I'm tired of seeing candy and these kind of like cuts like this. Is she ever gonna wear a dress or pants? <laughs> um, but I mean, it's 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 cute. I I mean, like I'll rent it. Like it is cute. I can see like this being like some like cartoon, like a Betty Boop kind of era, kind of like Cuphead kind of thing in a way. Chocolate Berry. <laughs> Need I say more? Nope. Not at all. I feel so. See, but had they had not said this was fruit, I wouldn't know what this was. Like, it's not fruity to me. This is this is just something else. Like, I do like her face here. Like, she's really been bringing it with the makeup and stuff. Um, it's a, it's a cute look, but I'm getting more so like sugar sugar plum fairy nutcracker. But I don't really get fruit. But I'm going to rent this. Orchard. <laughs> <laughs> I have to take you back to my. No. <laughs> so far, no shade. I don't know if I'm getting all stars from, from these girls all the way. From some of them. I'm like, I don't know. There's something. I don't know. For some reason, this also put me in mind of like Shay's um, look where she had that big hot dog on her head, her head for some reason. I don't know. Like, I feel like these looks would have been fine for like their first season or something around. I don't know, but uh, I'm going to pass on it. Like, if you're going to do this, then maybe whoever did this could have made the caramel look a little more realistic. You could have had more caramel falling down the dress. Maybe on the side of the hips, dripping down to the bottom of the of of, of the skirt. Could have had some, some caramel around there, around the skirt. You know, kind of carry it through. Could have had some caramel on your face as well. You know, to kind of just bring things through. Look at that fruit oh. cocktail. Man, she can't walk in out like she don't care. And no. <laughs> I feel like Darian Dar came walking out like, yeah, I know I don't look good. No. <laughs> no, Darian, what is going on? Because, like, from the promo, I'm like, yes, ma'am, Darian is bringing it. But then on the show so far, I'm like, no. But it's how it always is, though. It's like, at, when it's time for the promo, they got a little more money from the show, and they can have the designers. But I'm just like, no. Jessica Wilde. I don't know how I feel about this look. Like, it is giving me very, like, you know, Dorothy. It's different. But I don't know how, I, I don't know. Like, I, I wouldn't wear this. But it's not horrible. I'm gonna put it on layaway and think about it. I love that drink. You better stop whining. No, Jessica, you're saying it too good now. You're supposed to go back to how you were. I love this drink. She's headlining at the Copa Banana. <laughs> okay, Kasha looks good here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna buy this for Kasha. I am. I'm like, oh, I'm like, okay, Kasha, here you go. You made up for the last runway. I'm gonna buy this for her. But dang, is this runway almost over? Oh. I don't know about you guys, but I like this one strawberry. Oh. Much. Okay. I love this. I love, and it, it made it made me smile because it made me think about this dress that I haven't. I've I've mentioned this before. I used to draw a lot, and I, I used to draw a lot of just made up fashion. What happened to me? Oh my god! Like, I almost want to cry. I had boxes full of stuff, and I, I remember giving them all to my neighbor. Why did I do that? But I had drew this dress, and like it has. So you have to try to picture it. So maybe, I don't know, maybe think about Violet's dress she wore with the beard on season seven. The kind of way it flares out. But this is way before I watched Drag Race. But like, so it's just this, that same kind of shape, but really flared out. Not no tool or anything, but it's a flared out, beautiful kind of just dress. And it has like individual strawberries throughout the dress like stoned and just sparkling white and just red like you know like red big bow in the back of the dress and my hair is like kind of like think like i don't know diana ross supreme's kind of like like shortcut swoop bang and i have this like cute um strawberry purse with like a little chain hanging from it and like just like just a little like, these red pumps that's like one of my dream outfits to have made. Like I want to, I want to have that dress made. It's been in my vision since forever, but this just put me in the mind of that. I'm just like, 
Uh, I love this. I do. It makes me happy. I love this. I really can see me wearing this because I love. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and say this for me. This is probably one of my favorite outfits on Drag Race. Seriously, I'm not even kidding. Like, I love this. I love this. I want to buy it. I'm buying it and I'm wearing it, bitch, once a week. I can't. Let us have it. <laughs> um, this need this needs more. Like, maybe if she would have had material, more material, she could have brought the lettuce all the way down to like a gown or something. Or maybe has something around her legs. I don't know, fishnets or something. It's something missing. Like the look doesn't really go together. Like she has this wig on, trying to look glamorous, but then she has this on. And the, like if I'm just looking at the outfit, it's it's okay. I'm, I, I, but I think I'm going to pass on it though. They say what? if it's yellow, let it mellow. <laughs> okay, Kahana, she allegedly made this. It's cute. Could do a little more body. Like it's it's cute. It kind of reminds me of like a a yellow. A lemon raspberry now and later. I'm gonna rent this for her bakingness. But how does she know to have a wig like that? Interesting. It's almost as if she knew what material she was gonna have before she came to the show. I hate the wig though. <laughs> How's Mr. Clean? I am serving you a This is kinda cute. I I, I kinda don't like the big old thing in the middle, but this is cute though. Like, especially the top part. I love the top. Like she did that top. It's cute. I wanna. I, I'm gonna rent this. These floors until her diet pill wears off. Consuela, no. Purses foiled again. <laughs> for my supermarket soup. This is kind of cute. I'm gonna rent this for Candy. I'm gonna rent it for her. I am. Bagging it today. My supermarket supermodel is ready. This is kind of cute. <laughs> I hate the face where I pause it at though. It doesn't really kind of go together. It's something. It doesn't really go together. But like, it's kind of cute. It's ki I kind of like the shape a little bit. Uh, but I don't know if I what I want to do with it though, just yet. <laughs> I'm get to it all. Oh, I'm sorry. When she came out, I was like, "Who's this dude?" I just see. I just saw a dude. I literally thought it was like some guy just coming out. I really did. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> Girl, child, I don't know. The legs look nice. The, I, it's like, I kind of not too mad at it, but I'm going to, I I don't know. It's just so masculine. Oh my goodness. For your pleasure. She glides down the runway, trailing in beautiful <sighs> I'm going to rent this for her. I don't like it. I don't like it, I know, but I feel like I haven't gave her anything this this, this episode. <laughs> so I'm going to rent this for her. Just, I mean, it's better than what she brought out the past two runways, so. I'm like, huh. <laughs> I'm renting, I'm, I'm renting it out of pity. Gorgeous. Yes, Jessica Wildflower. This is cute. I rent it. You know, it's simple, but it's cute. It, it, it works. Eat this cake. I think Kasha grabbed the whole box of stuff and threw it on. And I cannot with these colors. Um, <laughs> the sad part is there's something I like about it. <laughs> like if they, it's something like maybe like the waist up, the waist up. I kind of like a little bit, like a little bit. I don't know, like a little bit, but uh, yeah. I'm I'm gonna walk out. Heidi in napkins. <laughs> this would have been better if the skirt part that's on her waist wasn't wasn't up so high. I think had it had been down a little longer, I mean been out, been down a little lower, it could have worked better. There's something off with the proportion. The proportion of it is a little off, and it's then it's kind of like tilted up. Had it had been down a little more. I'm still gonna rent it though because I feel like it was almost there, but yeah, I think tonight is between her, Kahana, and Jessica. Well, Jessica probably winning. Are safe. You may not leave this. Heidi and oh, I forgot Alexis too. She wasn't. It? They're safe. Interesting, huh? 
that was a long runway. Dare I say, was, was, that, was that the longest runway ever? I'm not even kidding. Like, that was long. <laughs> Tasha, <laughs> this I hate. Honey, it looked like... <laughs> That's like Nicki Minaj part two. <laughs> Towards Heidi. I hate, hate, hate. It looks like it's for a three-year-old who couldn't make up her mind on what birthday party to have. I would say, well, I was going for you, Jojo. Look what you have on. I want to take this opportunity to say thank you from the bottom of my heart. And to be a part of this family is... So yeah, she knows she's going home. Thank you, ladies. I think we've heard enough. Wait. I must have not been paying pay 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 attention. Y'all said that La La's in the top. For some reason, I didn't like... For some reason, I don't rem remember them talking to La La. She's in the top, y'all said? Or is she in the bottom? She's in the top? Okay, yeah. Drag Race, stop the shenanigans. Listen to me. Those white producers over there. I know y'all see me. Can y'all stop it? Can y'all be real? Can y'all can y'all go back to the days at, when y'all were on Logo TV? And y'all made people buy that network for only Drag Race and Will and Grace. Can we can we be real? Like y'all have enough money. Y'all rich now. Can we can we can we go back to being real? Seriously? Can we stop like producing fake narratives? Can we just let things flow authentically? It's no shade to Lala. It's to y'all. Like, why is she in the top? Versus Alexis at least. At least. Come on now. I can't. It makes you just not want to go on the show for real, for real. Because it's like, are y'all serious? Congratulations. You were the top all-star of the week. No, I know Jessica will win. Congrats, Jessica. Davis. I'm sorry, my dears, but you are the... I do agree that maybe Darian and Kasha. But then, I don't know, because Kasha's banana outfit probably should have kept her out of the bottom compared to Lala's looks. I don't know. It probably should have been Lala and Darian. Because... Cautious, but then that should at least save her. I think so. Not putting the two old hags against each other. The rest of you will cast your vote. <laughs> I wish RuPaul would like it'll do a record skip, and RuPaul would go. And Jimbo, before you go, leave that cucumber here. <laughs> oh, you know why? Is the game smart? So. I swear, in reality, with the show, I could literally just skip to whatever challenge it is, and then skip to the runway and lip sync. That's it. <laughs> you made. My decision. Oh, it was a speech of her kind of giving up a little bit. Red. Sorry, honey. And I don't know how. Dang, James brought the blush up to her hairline. I'm do something. I just have to say this. When I tell you, Alexis so far has been killing Untucked. Like she really has. And secretly, the Untucked episodes have been better than the real episodes so far. But I don't want to record the Untucked episodes for raw view. But. Some of these parts with her literally walking like candy and then making everybody wear candy's harsh blush is sending me. Her head's bigger than yours, you're fine. Little oh. That's it, that's all <laughs> the oh, right. way. I might have to take a tip from candy and wear more blush. If you don't have star quality, get the fuck out of here. You know what I just realized? You can't go back from this? You <laughs> have to go back from <laughs> Should we all just do it? Yeah. Oh, God damn, girl. This is how she does it. I look like I have a skin condition. Every single save queen is faced the other direction. That's <laughs> 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 so stupid. <laughs> <laughs> These hoes turn around and they all have on my hot pink blush. <laughs> For a good time, call. Oh. <laughs> Keep her just for that. Opponent? The question is, is she ready for Jessica Wise? Oh. Okay. Girl. Yeah. I don't know why in this, this shadowing image is giving me candy ho. When she had on that like black for the for the award for for the Depsy Awards. <laughs> for some reason this 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 shadow silhouette is giving me that image. <laughs> I don't know why. Oh gosh. It's a shadow. Oh. <laughs> Now this is going to be. Is she an assassin? That one, that one saying like, are these people like, assassins? Like she, but I don't know. Like I said, the sh people, the, sh the way the show does it is very different. But I'm like, I just seen her. She was, she just won All Stars. She was, she just like, I, I want to see somebody else. <laughs> no shade, Nicole. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then that cover up came off fast with Raja. 
Jessica already won. Literally just that first part, she already won. <laughs> she already won. Like, like there it goes. She already won. This is very Yara for real. Like Yara probably should have been here. I'm like, did she borrow Yara's Muppet Muppet breasts? Roger's kind of being a little messy, <laughs> a little bit. Yeah, Jessica's really selling it. Like she's not really doing much, but she's like selling the sex of it, and it like it just works. I mean, like, is Roger really even trying, or is she just? There just because like I, I I I I'm I'm not getting a battle at all like at all I'm just I'm just getting Raja just doing what she does and playing and playing with Je with Jessica that's it. <laughs> Was she singing out loud? <laughs> she put it in her mouth, but it can't show it. <laughs> now she's gonna buy a real one now. T S is like that on my watch, buddy. I feel like Roger don't want to be there or something. Like she just seemed like she ready to go. Like <laughs> this was weird. Queens would have worn. A queen. Was that tree bark supposed to be fruit? Queen. Oh yeah, I asked the certain queens. Like, did the girls for their fame looks stay for like some couple of weeks so they can like do each look, or was it all done in a day? Allegedly, it was all done in a day, which couldn't work for me because I do crazy looks sometimes. So it's like, how am I gonna go from this to this to this, to this in one day and all these looks? It wouldn't be possible. Kasha. Technically. Okay. Maybe. I know Kasha's third dress wasn't that good. But I still think technically because the banana dress. She probably should stay. But even though I do like Kasha. I am more interested in Darian. As far as like humor wise. But then Darian really is not bringing it so far. But congratulations, Darian. Thank you. I definitely feel disappointed. <laughs> She's like, I already gave my speech. Nothing else to say. The kindness. <laughs> God dang. <laughs> was Heidi and Kasha sleeping together? Oh. Okay. That was episode three. I was kind of bored. So far... They need to pick this season up some, and something needs to pick me. Something needs to happen. Something needs to happen. I need these this season to prove like the haters wrong that these girls are, and it's not really the girls' fault, because they could be entertaining. But it's it's okay. What do y'all think of this episode? Let me know down below. Wish me luck in LA, and I'll see you LA girls. Um, yeah, everybody stay beat, stay beautiful. Most importantly, stay blessed. Kimacho or Kimochi. Bye. Dear diary, I really hope Tommy doesn't touch my dirty pillows at prom. Or at least that's what Mama calls them. They're all, they're all, they're all gonna laugh at you. I was also so white and confused at school today. I still don't know where the manager is. <laughs> all the girls laughed at me. They're all gonna laugh at you! Why? Carrie White, get down here and praise God!